Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland at JSA. Joining me today is Aaron Reason, Director of Network Security at Consolidated Communications. Aaron, welcome to JSA TV. Hey, Laura, thanks for having me. As one of the top fiber providers in the US, could you tell us more about Consolidated and then your role at the company? Sure. So Consolidated Communications is a leading broadband and business communications provider. We service customers, uh, business, and wireless wireline carriers across rural and metro communities in roughly 23 state areas. And my role at the company is Director of Network Security. And I have kind of a unique, uh, I guess, role where I get to provide uh, cybersecurity for our business and then also for our customer side. Wonderful. Well, can you talk about the latest trends that you're seeing in cybersecurity over the past few months with so many more of us online throughout the day because of COVID? So what are you seeing? Right. Yeah. So um, uh, it's probably a broken record to many that are hearing this, but there's been a massive uptick in ransomware attacks. And uh, not only has just the quantity gone up, um, but, uh, you know, really the intensity of what they're doing has gone up as well. So, you know, years ago, ransomware attack would be something that would make the news because it would disrupt the business, but um, it's really moved into a different model of extortion. And so not only could it disrupt your business, but then, you know, for years down the path, it it could uh, disrupt your branding um, because they like to extort data and hold it over their, uh, their victim. So it's gotten really ruthless lately. So, Well, knowing those risks, what are your top three cybersecurity tips for the average everyday internet user? Yeah, you know, that's that's one of the neat things about cybersecurity. Um, It really seems cybersecurity, you know, seems like something you need to be um, an expert at, um, which, you know, it doesn't hurt. Um, But really, you know, the bigger the company is, the harder it is. And the smaller the company is, or even down to an individual, the easier it can be. Um, and it's funny because, you know, there's a million different companies out there that'll try and sell you cybersecurity solutions. And a lot of them are really good. Um, but really some simple things can, can do quite a bit. Uh, they say cybersecurity, uh, should be done in layers. And so you can tackle a few of those and provide yourself a lot of security. Uh, the first one being password management. So first of all, you'll want a good password. Um, you know, one that's not easily guessable or one of the top 100 passwords that, you know, is kind of known each year. Um, And then, you know, if you can manage to have a different password for every site, uh, that's incredibly helpful. Um, I personally use a password manager service that I pay a couple dollars a month for, but the one in your browser or your phone also works really well too. Uh, Another thing is updates. I know it sounds so simple, but a lot of the times when you get a phishing email and there's you know, there's a, maybe a strange file attached to it. Uh, updates can stop those from taking advantage of unpatched uh, equipment and vulnerabilities. And the last one, I kind of alluded to it there, is phishing. Um, you know, even if you don't update, even if you don't have a good password manager, if you don't fall for it, then it can't get you. Um, so being kind of wise about what you're seeing in the email and what you're gonna click or what you're gonna, the link you're gonna follow or a file that you're gonna open, that could prevent any of it from happening in, in the beginning, so. Excellent tips. I'm definitely jotting those down for sure. Very, yeah. very, a great strategy to stay protected online for sure. So I know that the consolidated team is working very hard behind the scenes to boost network security for customers so they're protected even more. So what is the consolidated team doing? Sure, yeah. So every year we like to, we, we do a couple of things. We have. Uh, several different security exercises to test not just my team, but the business, right? Cybersecurity really is everybody's job, every employee's job, every member of every team uh, needs to participate. So, um, you know, each year we do some cybersecurity exercises and then that's what we strengthen our, our um, spend our year strengthening. And so this year it really came down to um, segmentation of our, our critical infrastructure and then hardening of that gear. So, um, you know, 
one of the words that's kind of a buzzword is zero trust. Um, and, and, you know, that's a goal that you want to achieve to where um, no matter where you're at, whether you're VPN den, whether you're on the company network, whether you're on the Wi-Fi, um, no matter how secure the network might feel, uh, you should build your network to where you don't trust any one part of it more than you should. Um, another term is micro segmentation. It's a little bit easier of thinking it that way, where you just segment your network to protect your critical assets. So a lot of smaller companies have very flat networks where, you know, from when you, you plug into to the wall in the office or whether you VPN in, maybe you could get to too many things, right? And so we're constantly auditing um, and making sure that things are segmented as much as possible to make it very difficult for um, uh, malicious activity to spread throughout the network, um, keeping things compartmentalized. So that's been kind of our theme for this year. Um, and yeah, each year we like to kind of revisit um, what could help secure our customers more in our own business more. It's important to note that October is National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. If you didn't know that, mark it on your calendars. Aaron, what do you hope is the number one takeaway for viewers during National Cybersecurity Awareness Month? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, it, that one's easy. It, it really comes down to people. Um, you know, all of the amazing and horrific things you hear or read about in the news um, usually come from just one person doing the right thing or the wrong thing, right? Um, so, you know, it, like I said before, if uh, one fish can lead to a ransomware attack. So if people can stay vigilant about, you know, second guessing what they're clicking or the link they're following or the website they're typing the username and password into that might not be the real website, um, that's huge, right? Um, following best practices uh, can solve a lot of cybersecurity problems. So um, maintaining strong password, uh, rotating when you're supposed to, um, and not just incrementing, you know, adding, you know, password one, password two, um, you know, following the best practices uh, is goes a long way. So that's really what I would hope every single person can do these things. And it will immensely add to the security posture of any company or even any person. Great information, Aaron. Great action items that we can take away and start using today. So thank you for that. Uh, and for folks who want to learn more about um, staying protected online or, and even about Consolidated, where can our viewers go to learn more? Yeah, so we have some great resources at Consolidated.com. And then, you know, there's the National Cybersecurity Alliance uh, has StaySafeOnline.com. So those are two really great resources where you can learn more. Thank you again, Aaron. It has been a pleasure and come back anytime. All right. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcast. Happy networking.